Hi, welcome to the Unit 4 Project Next Step. So at this point, um, you have submitted your project and you have some feedback. So what should you do next? First thing you want to do is read the comments. The comments that I've written are usually in red in each section and at the bottom in the gray teacher's comments box. The comments give you some idea of what you need to do in order to improve the section or how to do it correctly if it wasn't done correctly. If after reading the comments, you're still not sure what you need to do for each section, you're going to use the exemplar, which is in this Schoology folder, and the Unit 4 Day 9 PowerPoint slides to sort of help you. And then if that doesn't help you and you're still not sure what to do, then you're going to contact me via Schoology or email, and then I can assist you. Finally, to edit your document, you um, are going to have to unsubmit it first, and then you can edit it. Once you have made the edits that you want, if you're submitting that Google Doc for your final document, then you'll re resubmit it. Now, if you want feedback before the final submission, um, you need to submit it today, Tuesday, or by Wednesday so you can get feedback for the final submission. Remember, the project's due on Friday. So um, there's one last thing that this uh, that I want to show you. A couple, two more things I want to show you. First is just the exemplar. Um, you can find it in the Unit 4 Project Next Steps, which you're seeing here. So this is what the exemplar looks like. I wrote my responses in blue. So this is the sort of thing that I would look to see that you've typed in each section. And then in red, um, for certain sections where there was a lot of questions and people had some issues with, I show you which PowerPoint slides and which PowerPoint and which slides you would go to get help for that. So for example, describing the bonds, if you're not sure how to describe them, you would go for unit four, day nine, part two, PowerPoint slides 20 to 28. Now, where can you find the Unit 4 Day 9 Part 2 PowerPoint slides? So it's, I've linked it here as well. So Unit 4 Day 9 Part 2, you see that those PowerPoint slides are here. I'll click open that, and then it said slides 20 to 28. So you would scroll down till you get to slides 20 and 20 to 28, and you would read through that information to sort of figure out how to describe the bonds. Okay, so once again, you have the exemplar as a resource and these PowerPoint slides to sort of help you with what should go in each section. Final thing that I wanna go over um, is the condensed formula. A lot of you have compounds that have a condensed formula. When I say condensed formula, it's something that looks like this. Now the condensed formula, there are missing carbons and hydrogens. They're not shown here. So I just wanna go over a couple of quick things that you can do to read the formula. If you see something that looks like this, they're just lines with no atoms attached to the ends, that represents a carbon-carbon um, single bond. So if your structure has these lines, which your structure probably does, you can say one of the bonds that you have is a carbon-carbon single bond. If you have something like a double line here, double bond, then this is a carbon-carbon double bond. So once again, there's no atoms written down, this would be a carbon-carbon double bond. If you have a single line going to an oxygen, so a line that's attached to an oxygen, that's a carbon-oxygen single bond. If you have something like this, where you have double line attached to an oxygen atom, then that's a carbon-oxygen double bond. And then finally, if you have something like this, a single line attached to a nitrogen, your structure has a carbon-nitrogen single bond. So this is how you can read a, you can sort of use this as a quick guide. If you see something that looks like this in your structure, you can use that to identify the types of bonds that you have. And this will help with um, the description of the bond section, which quite a few people had, um, you know, like the, they weren't really sure what they were supposed to put there. So where it says describe the bonds of in the structure, you need to describe at least three bonds. And so this is what that should sort of sound like. All right, well, that is it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Good luck with your Unit 4 project. Have a quality day.